Now I am going to discuss MOD echocardiogram in mitral stenosis. MOD is time motion mode. It's a one dimensional mode with high temporal resolution. This is the MOD echocardiogram in mitral stenosis. It is guided by a two dimensional image. You can see the left atrium is dilated in this case of mitral stenosis. There is calcification of posterior mitral leaflet which is moving paradoxically and anterior leaflet of mitral valve is doming. So this same features you are seeing in echocardiogram, my mode echocardiogram also. The doming, the corresponding feature is this anterior motion of the mitral leaflet. The flat EF slope is seen. Normally the EF should be downwards like this and then there will be an A wave. Now we are not seeing an A wave here. There is no A wave and the EF slope is flat, almost like a horizontal slope. Normally you expect it downwards like this in early diastole. The second important feature you are seeing here is the paradoxical movement of the posterior leaflet. And density is increased indicating that there is fibrosis and calcification which is very well seen in the 2D image as well. Paradoxical motion of the posterior mitral leaflet is because the commissures are fused so that uh, when the anterior leaflet moves anteriorly, that is a normal motion, posterior leaflet is also pulled along with it causing paradoxical anterior motion of the posterior mitral leaflet. Normally, anterior leaflet will move anteriorly and posterior leaflet should move posteriorly. That does not occur due to commercial fusion in rheumatic mitral stenosis. That is what you are seeing as the paradoxical anterior motion of the mitral leaflet. Then you can see the separation between the leaflets is low again due to mitral stenosis. That you can see here also in diastole uh, normally the posterior leaflet will move and will be almost along with the posterior left ventricular wall and the anterior leaflet will be almost touching the near the septum. So there will be a very wide opening here for the mitral wall which is not seen here due to mitral stenosis. The left atrial dilatation is also secondary to mitral stenosis. The measurements of the left ventricle are also shown here. This is left ventricular internal diameter systolic, left ventricular posterior wall diastolic, left ventricular internal diameter diastolic, interventricular septum diastolic, then end diastolic volume, ratio between interventricular septum and posterior wall, fractional shortening and systolic volume and ejection fraction. You don't expect these to be abnormal in a case of mitral stenosis.